Hey everyone, welcome to Tic Tac Tyco's first Tyco drill. Now since I just did a drill where I broke down the triplet, I thought I should follow that up with triplet drills. And the triplet drills will be done on multiple drum surfaces. So, welcome to Tic Tac Tyco multi-drum triplet drill part one. <sighs> I think that's enough words, yeah? Anyways. For this drill, you need to be comfortable with triplets. If you're not, please check out the video below. I've linked the video that I did breaking down a triplet. You'll need to know and at least be comfortable playing a triplet before doing a lot of these drills. Second, it's good to have three playing surfaces, ideally a fourth. If you only have three, you can split the middle one between top and bottom. If you only have one, hopefully it's big enough and you can break that into four corners. Also, difficulty wise, on a scale of one to 10, if 10 is the most difficult, the drills that I'm gonna show range from around a three to a six. It's a wide variety because there are a lot of drills. The first half, which is this video of the multi-drum drills, will be a slightly easier set of drills and the second half, which is the video that will follow this one, will have slightly more difficult drills. But you may find some drills easy that are on the hard and hard that are on the easy. You can change the tempo and make the difficulty uh, match what's comfortable for you. Now you might notice that my setup isn't particularly fancy. I've got four different colors, four different shapes, and two different sizes. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I set it up to make it work for me, to make this video work, and that's what counts. This whole channel is devoted to practicing Tyco and getting better at Tyco however you can do it. So I am cool with this, even though some of you might be chewing on your nails right now because things are very, very chaotic. I happen to like a little bit of chaotic, so here we go. The first drill we're going to do is my warm-up drill. It's simply right, left. Now when I say right and left, I don't mean sticking because remember, we're doing the triplet and the triplet is a fixed sticking regardless if it's accented triplets or non-accented triplets. So when I say right, left, I mean right surface, left surface. So the warm-up drill looks like this. The next drill I call windshield wipers because of the back and forth motion. This drill goes right, front, front, left, front, front. It looks like this. The fun thing about this drill is that it's in three. Most drills that you're playing are in twos and fours, and the three gives it a nice little groove. It's also very balanced between the right and the left, and now you're starting to access the front part of the pad. The third drill I call the ups and outs, and the order for this is front, front, right, left.
and the last drill for part one, the three corners. Front, front, right, front, front, left, right, left. So that drill was a little more complicated, but the difficulty isn't in the triplets, it's just remembering which bachi goes where, what triplet comes next. So this might help. Forward, right, left, sides. So you're going forward, then to the right two, then to the left two, then to the outside. If you practice it slowly and intentionally and build up speed gradually, I have no doubt that you'll get it and then eventually you'll start to feel the flow. Now, this drill and all of the drills you saw earlier are just things that I came up with by fooling around with the arrangement of different drum pads. There's nothing special about them. They're not better than any other drills. So I encourage you to experiment with your own arrangements, whether you have one surface, two, three, or 17. Having said that, don't forget, left side, always give the left side a fair share. So even though this drill is pretty balanced from the beginning, starting on the left side is really good practice. And this brings us to the end of part one for the multi-drum triplet drills. If you like what you saw, please let me know. A thumbs up or a comment means a lot. A subscription means a hell of a lot. If you've already subscribed, you rock. Thank you very much. I hope to see you on part two, but for now, take care.